Well, good Thursday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. We're looking at about 6.07 Eastern Time here, 5.07 Central Time for you folks down around the Evansville area. Early in the morning here, here's the rain in motion over the past several hours, and we've just got some uh, light showers with some heavier pockets rolling through. The deluge is going on, already picked up a fair amount of rain in many locations so far. It's going to rain a little bit more as we head throughout the day. We'll time it out on future radar here for you in a moment. But uh, you can expect uh, this round will move, uh, be sticking around here for your morning commute, uh, moving out of the area. And then we've got some more to come in for this afternoon. In fact, some of the storms this afternoon could be on the strong side. Let's go ahead and before we look at future satellite here, let's take a look at the risks that the Storm Prediction Center is showing. Now they have uh, changed it up a little bit. They did have the corner of Southwest Indiana into a south into a uh, enhanced risk, and they've and they've uh, decided to remove that and they put the enhanced risk uh, down just to the immediate south of Evansville here. So you've got basically about Henderson excluded from the from the uh, slight risk uh, from the enhanced risk rather, and it's points on south now, but. Uh, well, that, that's good, and I, I would agree with that. I thought the enhanced risk was a little much yesterday. Uh, basically, what you've had is overnight, as I showed you yesterday in the video, the, the NAM model was really just uh, being aggressive with its severe weather totals. And I warned you uh, that it could be a little bit wrong because it was wanting to give us several hours of sunshine, and I thought I was a little skeptical of that. Uh, the overnight runs uh, really and uh, just backed off on that aggressive total. They gave decent severe weather parameters still for us, don't get me wrong, uh, but not the extreme parameters. And the reason why is because it doesn't give us very much sunshine. And, well, that's what I said usually happens in the Ohio Valley. That's what the models are starting to kind of cave into that idea now. Hence, the Storm Prediction Center has moved that stronger risk down to our south. But regardless, either way, I think it's going to be a fairly decent risk this evening for some storms. Enhanced risk down to our south. Let's break it down by a specific probability type. Here's your tornado probability type bullseye sort of right down here over uh, over uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and then right over here into close to the Nashville area actually. Uh, not uh, non-existent for us, but not as strong as it is down south. Wind probabilities, just a general 15% for us. Hail probabilities, well, some significant hail potentially right here in the hatched area, just immediately down to our south. So, again, the best tornado and hail probabilities down to our south rather than in our area. Let's go ahead and time this out on future radar. We'll use the HER model now that it's within range. This is the highest res model that we have. Let's put these showers into motion. Here you go. By about 8 o'clock Eastern time, you still got plenty of rain going on around the area. You continue to put that in motion. The first wave is moving out here. By about 11 o'clock, the wave is starting to exit the state over here. And then what you have is some redevelopment going on out to our west. We'll have a few popcorn showers this afternoon. But really, the severe weather window is going to open up later this afternoon. So here is uh, about 3 o'clock. Here's 4 o'clock Eastern time. That's whenever I think from about 4 o'clock on Eastern is whenever the uh, window is going to open for some storms to end up coming in here. And so you've got some storms starting to develop uh, down here and up here as well. Watch how these just sort of uh, blossom and uh, explode over us as they move through might have a couple of rounds to deal with. This is as far out as the modeling goes right now. So I, I would suspect severe storms are possible anytime from about 4 o'clock on through maybe about 10 o'clock or so tonight. Could get a watch out of this. That's certainly possible. Could be a thunderstorm or a tornado watch. We're not going to know at this point until we get into this afternoon hours. We start to see what the atmosphere is really going to do. Let me just show you what the HER model thinks as far as the satellites go. We start out with a thick cloud deck this morning. It does want to thin the cloud deck out, and that's uh, as it moves the rain out, it starts to thin it out. Maybe even poke a little hint of some sunshine from uh, time to time, but it doesn't last long, and we still, even during the afternoon, hours keep a fair amount of clouds over us. We get maybe a thin enough cloud deck over the area for about maybe one or two hours at most here, and then we get storms redeveloping. So there might be a window, according to this high-res data, that this afternoon we could get just enough clearing to get an extra little bit of vigor into these storms. And that seems reasonable, uh, rather than the hours and hours of sunshine we would see according to what the NAM model was wanting to advertise. I knew that just wasn't going to happen. Uh, that just never happens in the Ohio Valley. Uh, well, I won't say never, but almost never happens. And uh, sometimes these forecast models, uh, well, they're just guidance. And uh, 
no no model is ever perfect you just kind of have to understand their weaknesses and i knew yeah, that just didn't set well with me because of what normally happens around here so i do think that it's going to stay a mostly cloudy day that'll be a good thing we might see some uh sunshine say peekaboo from time to time but i don't think uh, we're going to get hours and hours of sunshine this afternoon or at least let's hope not uh and of course if we don't that's going to be a good thing it'll limit our severe weather risk i think the severe weather threat will be there i'll be surprised if we don't end up with some thunderstorm warnings out of this uh, for some wind and hail uh, but if we get hours and hours of sunshine that could dramatically increase the tornado threat so that's what we don't want and the hail could be larger as a result of this as well so we'll just keep an eye on it folks and uh, as we go throughout the day we'll be able to know a little bit more by the time we hit about the noon hour we start to see how the atmosphere is really responding whether we're going to uh, see some clearing coming through or not as the rain starts pushing out that's when we'll be getting a little bit of a better idea so folks just keep it tuned right here to southern indiana weather throughout the day we're going to high temperatures in the 70s today it is going to be a nice day around the area despite the rain so get out and enjoy it if you can whenever there are some dry spots. Just be weather aware tonight, folks, and keep it tuned here to Southern Indiana Weather for more details. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. I'll bring you coverage throughout the day.